Today, let's talk about an underappreciated topic. It's something that could save you hours or even days on your next project. And as you'll see later, may even help you win a hackathon. Let's talk about templates. I'm Justin P. Barnett, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel where I make videos for VR developers and others looking to get started uh, in you know, virtual reality and start developing in that. Before we dive in, let's first try to understand what templates are and why they could be useful. Note that we're going to focus on templates in Unity for VR today. So if you, you know, want anything that's Unreal or any other game engines, then just let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll branch out a little bit. So let's jump into Unity Hub and I'll actually show you where some of the templates live. So here in my new project setup, I have a list of different templates here in the middle. So we have our basic 3D template, which is gonna end up being just your camera and a directional light um, and maybe some like fog or environmental type stuff. Uh, and then you have a 2D version, um, and then of course there's URP, and then you know you get more and more kind of specific. So you have this runner game that came out quite recently, a 3D or 2D mobile game, the test track, 3D HDRP. Um, you have a VR template that I actually never use. Um, I actually don't really like that one. Um, the AR core template, a first person, third person, um, and so on and so forth. There's even a Lego template. So lots of different options for templates. Uh, the general idea is really just something that you reuse on a regular basis so you don't have to spend that time you know, getting started. You may remember my previous video where we looked at Hurricane VR. And so you know, Hurricane VR, in addition to being a more of a development framework, uh, could also be considered a template. Uh, a, a pretty advanced template, but you know, a template of sorts. So it has, you know, sample scenes and a bunch of different assets and whatnot. And so the main advantage of using that template or other templates is that they'll save you tons of time. So, you know, setting up even a basic VR scene can take several minutes to several hours, depending on, you know, how experienced you are. And following any kind of written instructions usually ends up being tedious, even if there are lots of screenshots. Templates also, you know, do a lot for you up front besides just getting you ready. They can also help you avoid a lot of mistakes. So I know that several times I'll miss one key feature where I'll forget to link the input actions to the actual origin. And so I, you know, mix things up and I, you know, play test the game for the first time and nothing's working. And that's because I forgot to add this one tiny little step. So templates will help you maximize your efficiency by you know not introducing any bugs up until that specific point so to give you an idea on how templates could be useful i'll share your story so a colleague of mine needed to build a prototype app for a future of work concept and he wanted to create a multiplayer experience where workers could sort through data by picking up cubes with images on them uh, and thanks to a, a template he found made by a, another YouTuber called a Fistful of Shrimp, which we like. Uh, we, li we like Fistful of Shrimp. Check out his channel. There's going to be a, a link down below in the description. And so with this free template, he was able to very quickly build a VR environment. And it already had hands, interactions, locomotion, and an XR rig that's you know already set up for him. And that was a huge time saver. And if you want to learn more about Fistful of Shrimp's template, you can check out uh, the video that I'll link down in the description as well. And I also have a video if you're interested about just setting up a project. And you can do that for yourself, set your own project up for free from scratch, and basically turn that into a template. Just copy it whenever you want to make a new project. So first, let's look at a few Unity assets in this category. In addition to Hurricane VR, which I should mention is a paid asset, by the way, uh, we also have AutoHand, um, also a paid asset. And AutoHand comes with a few sample scenes. Uh, I did a video actually on that a while back. I also did a video about Hurricane VR, so you can check those out if you want. 
Um, another one is VR Interaction Framework by Bearded Ninja Games, which comes with a full support system for the Unity input system, XR input, OpenXR, and you know more stuff. And of course, all of those have demo scenes and lots of um, little snippets that you can reuse and adjust and whatnot. So they're really good starting points. But here's one more interesting option that you might not have thought about, Unity Learn. It's a, actually a great place to find templates and the free tutorials that you go through um, that are all made by Unity usually will actually encourage you to use those tutorials as launching off points for your projects. So um, just make sure you check the terms of service and whatnot inside of each of these templates that you end up using. If you're going to use them in a commercial project, um, you know, make sure the license and terms line up. I'm not a lawyer, blah, 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 blah. But keep in mind that some of these tutorials might be outdated as well. So um, if you're looking around for a tutorial to follow to actually build your VR project and you know get that template set up on your own, um, I would look for tutorials that have been made within the last year, uh, maybe max of two years, because Unity is updating constantly and we don't want to you know start following a tutorial only to get to a point where there's an option that doesn't exist anymore or there's more options than there are. So um, just make sure you're, you're looking for a recent tutorial. There's actually another really cool option that you have that you can add your template that you make to Unity Hub, just like all the other 3D and VR and you know the parting game. Uh, you can you know have your template show up there, which is super cool and super useful and actually as we keep mentioning, Fistful of Shrimp has a uh, guide and a video about how to do that as well. So there's a, a video, and if you if you prefer the written guides, there is also um, a written one on his website, which will all be linked. Lastly, I want to talk about a project that I have been working on. Uh, one of my other companies called Spatial Ape is making a product called Foundry. So it's called it's Foundry by Spatial Ape. Uh, so Foundry is going to end up being an open source and free Unity multiplayer VR template. I'm super excited about this one because one, it's going to be open source. So totally free to you to fork it and make your own game off of this template. Uh, that's super exciting. I'm really excited to get this out there. And two, it has everything that I would want as a VR developer, um, specifically for a multiplayer game. Uh, the coolest thing about it is the the main focus is setting it up for multiplayer and if you've ever tried to uh, set up a multiplayer game you know that developing for multiplayer especially in VR is difficult like really hard so I'm thrilled to be working on this and uh, it's going to save you guys a lot of headache and if you want to sign up for the beta test um, of Foundry there's also a link down in the description to get on the newsletter. Um, if you're on the newsletter, we'll send you emails um, about when we're doing beta tests. And speaking of testing, we launched a very early alpha version of this Foundry template at the MIT Reality Hackathon that happened pretty recently. It's the uh, biggest XR hackathon in the world uh, up in Boston, and we were blown away uh, by the result. Not only did several teams use Foundry in their projects, but get this, the grand prize winner used it too. Uh, a super cool project about celebrating both your successes and your failures. Uh, it's called Failtopia, if you want to look it up. Also, links in the description. I wasn't able to be there, but my co-founder was, and he did an awesome write-up about it, uh, which I will also link below. There's so many links for you guys. Um, also, keep your eyes out. We may be announcing a foundry specific or foundry focused hackathon slash game jam coming up pretty soon uh maybe like march ish um so that about wraps everything up i uh, hope this video was helpful for you in getting started with unity vr templates and if you have any other questions or would like to see tutorials on uh more tutorials about this topic about each specific template or you know other topics in vr just let me know in the comments and uh as always, thanks for watching.